Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's video, an ultra rare video at that too. 67 Firebird 400 four speed convertible. Yes, it's a mouthful, but I have to tell you, uh, if you went to a car show, maybe you went driving to uh, some large event uh, in the Midwest or whatever, the likelihood of seeing this car again is very slim. They built very few of these cars. Keep in mind, this is the first year this car was built, right? Secondly, great engine, throw in the four speed, throw in the convertible. It was a pretty expensive car for its time, so not a lot of them were sold. So when you can find one like this that came from the factory that way with PHS documentation, to authenticate it, throw in the fact that it has the original WZ coated 400 uh, cubic inch motor in it and the four speed. It's an awesome, awesome find. So, when we take some time, we're gonna walk around, we kind of uh, finished the restoration on this car, we painted it, and we did some final things. I think it came out great. I hope you think so too. There's a couple incorrect parts on the car. I'm gonna show you what those are as well and uh, tell you whether we're going to replace those or if you wanna replace those yourself. We can do it for you here, or you can do it when you get the car. So either way, let us know. But uh, uh, as I said, we're right in the middle of, or I should say, on the tail end of the restoration, and I think that, uh, I think that it's coming out really great. So come on up here. I'll talk about the paint for a minute. So we've done the paint. All right, we haven't given its final wet sand and buff, but I'd like you to see how clear everything is in here. I try to to show you how you can see all the words. Like I don't even have to look at this uh, side, and I can just read it right off from the hood, front and rear spoilers a detailed engine compartment. It's that kind of uh, clarity and depth that you should be looking for when you're buying uh, something like this. Don't go by just pictures alone. Pictures can make anything look great. The video shows you what you're getting, okay? All right, so uh, the car originally was uh, a regimental red, all right? And uh, when I throw in some of these things about the correct motor, the correct transmission, it's an original red car, man. They call it resale red. Uh, for a reason, because it looks great in red, and red cars always sell well. I love the black interior, the black top, and those kinds of things. All right, so come on up here. I want to show you a couple small things. And uh, one of them was the red lines on the car. So the car could have come with red lines from the factory, all right? But these are uh, red line radials. They're designed so that the car looks great and looks authentic, but it's significantly better to drive. And although they're not correct for the car, uh, to the to the anyone other than a serious judge, uh, it looks great. You can go to a car show and, and hope to win in a local car show like that. This also doesn't have the lug nuts on it yet. We just got the wheels uh, redone, trim ring, center caps, and the lug nuts were on back order, so I couldn't get them on the car in time. But know that you're going to get those, and those will be the acorn style to cover the uh, stud, so it'll be a nice finished look to it. I don't want uh, anybody to be screaming, hey, the car has the wrong lug nuts on it. Well, you're right, it does have the wrong, wrong lug nuts on it but uh, I know that. One of the options we forget to ask about all the time is disc brakes. Keep in mind, disc brakes are just coming into their own then. Not every car had disc brakes, most of them had drum brakes, you know. It was always price war with these cars, keeping the price down, things like that. This car has disc brakes inside here, all right? So, another nice feature. Uh, don't forget about that when you're throwing in the whole package of what you're getting here. All right, so, call out things like the Firebird here, all right? This awesome piece. I love the sh Put Everybody knows what this is, hopefully, and if you don't, come around here and check it out. That's the factory hood tank. So you can see the tachometer in your face, and you have to look down at the dash while you're shifting the car. I like to shift my car at like 11,000 RPMs. Okay, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, this has a red line there of right around 6,000 RPM. The gills here, similar to a Camaro style, but the Camaros obviously were part here. So there's some little styling, uh, subtle changes around. Front and rear spoilers, they add a great sporty look to the car. And as we walk around the car, we're gonna show you that stuff as well. Like check this out, okay? This is a performance car with a little bit of elegance thrown into it. And these cutouts here, it's got the correct tailpipes. Everything's painted and wet sanded nicely. And then things like uh, the electric antenna uh, are in the car. Some of the options that we're gonna go over uh, that you forget to ask about are all wrapped up in there, okay? All right, let's take a peek under the hood. I think all hands will fit in there too well. All right, so this is kind of cool. Nicely detailed, couple incorrect parts, but the good news about it is the incorrect parts make it very reliable and I can uh, make some adjustments to those parts so if you decide to take it to a, a major car show, you wouldn't get dinged, all right? So a lot of original sheet metal in here, all right? And over here you can see the WZ code that's on the front of the engine, showing that's the original there. This has power steering, okay? We forget to ask about that. These cars didn't have power steering back then, so few of them did. 
power disc brakes, which we showed earlier. This has a correct chrome valve cover, it has a correct air cleaner on it. It has the underhood light, which we've uh, taken off, and this person here, somewhere along the line, installed switches to turn it on and off so they could go to a car shows uh, and leave the hood open. Now, this does have an MSD ignition box here, which is an upgrade, which is not authentic to this car, and it shouldn't be there. It makes a big difference in the drivability of it, and the car drives significantly better because of it. But what it does do, okay, is offers a lot more power and some spark and things like that. And if you wanted to and you didn't love it there, I can either paint it black or I can move it to the inside of the firewall under the dash and no one would ever see it. So that way you could go to a show and, uh, and get those things. So here's another nice feature too. Uh, this green knob, all you do is turn it a quarter turn. It cuts the power off to the car. The car can sit uh, in your garage for as long as you have to. Sometimes in the winter people don't drive them that much or maybe only drive them once a month. All you do is turn the knob back another quarter turn and you got a full battery again, which is pretty cool. That's a really nice feature to have too. You don't have to worry about keeping the battery tender and those kinds of things. All right, so again, nicely detailed, satin black where it's supposed to be, uh, kind of correct hoses in other places, air cleaner on here, it's a battery topper to make it look authentic. I don't know, it's such a really nice car. I just love this car because it has so many great features and so uh, and it's so rare. We really don't have a, a build quantity for these, but I know the number is very, very low. All right, let's take a peek in the trunk for a minute, okay? All right, so a couple items that are still on the way, like for instance, the jacking instructions and some of the other decals uh, that were on order. Uh, we also ordered the correct um, uh, matching spare tire cover. This is aqua and black. This is uh, gray and black. Uh, they're obviously not the same and they're not supposed to be there. That will be changed for the correct. I just want to put it in the video so it's covered, so at least if you look at it and see it, it's nice. Also, when we did the car, we did all new weather strippings. Okay? And we detailed all the pieces inside there. So, just came out really nice. And then again, we talk about the rear spoiler. Uh, that's a really neat piece. A lot of people like to put on the 400 emblem in the rear. And although it's not correct, uh, it can go either here on the spoiler like this, I can go right here. It's a really nice emblem. If you want one, let me know. I'll put it on for you. Uh, we'll throw that in, okay? All right, let's check out the inside because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time. All right, so let's go check out where you're gonna spend most of your time, and that's right here. All right, so one of the things that you should think about when buying a car like this, now keep in mind, these are unibody convertibles, meaning it doesn't have a full frame underneath. And depending on how well the car is taken care of, how well it's restored, and some of the rusty things that can happen to 50-year-old cars will determine whether the doors close well or not, whether things fit, whether things align up still. So I want you to hear something that's really nice. Hear that? This door closes solid. You know, it's uh, uh, this is a well-taken-care-of car, and it drives like it is, too. So some of these cars were killed along the way. And this is definitely not one of them. All right, so we've got full gauges here. This is an aftermarket uh, gauge package here. If you don't love it, no big deal. We can take that out. I think it looks pretty good there. Uh, we got the original AM radio. And of course, all the original style accoutrements with uh, the Firebird call out there. Black bucket seats with seat belts in the car. And some of the things I say to people, they say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about having seat belts in the car? Well, I'll tell you what that is. It goes a little farther than that. For instance, these cars here we check over front to back just to make sure the uh, safety items are, are really in, in shape. A lot of times I find like the back seat, the seat belts back there aren't even bolted in. Could you imagine uh, putting your kids back there and not knowing whether they're bolted in or not? And that's the kind of car that I want you to feel like you're getting from us. We're giving you that kind of car. It includes free and closed shipping, right? It includes, uh, we're including a one year warranty on this car. And I think that uh, you'd be crazy not to do some business here so that you could see that you could probably buy this car for less here than you could anywhere else because the car's turnkey and ready to go. And for a busy guy like yourself who doesn't have time to fly to this place, fly to that place, hope you buy that car that time. What if you don't love that car? Then you've got to fly again to another place. This gets it to your door for less than you can do it with some really great features and some collectability. All right? Plus, you got tilt wheel and everything. So, one of the things we do do for a lot of people is we hide. Uh, an AM FM digital sound system with CD, satellite that you run from your iPhone or Android device and we hide it in the glove box. This way it keeps it all stock looking right here and then uh, you can have all your great uh, favorite tunes and that's kind of what I hope for you is that you leave work, uh, call whoever it is you that you're on the way, turn the phone off, throw it on your seat man and just go for a drive. No text messaging, no email, no boss calling you every 15 minutes, want to know where that project is, just get in the car and roll.
All right, some other nice features. We talked about the tilt wheel, okay? This also has the pedal dress up here, so the pedals with that around it. It just gives it a nice finished look. Okay, here's another option that a lot of people don't know about. It's called Speedminder. Check this out. So here's your speedometer, 120 mile an hour speedometer. You can set this uh, pointer right there, okay? And you can set the speed for what you want it to be at to remind you that that's as fast as you want. So for me, I normally set it at 45 because I like to ride on the highway around 45 or 50 with the flashers on in the right-hand lane. Okay, I'm not telling the truth. I'm not being honest. I like to, I like to roll on down the road. But anyway, that's a really cool feature. Another great thing about this car as we run down the list of things uh, that you're getting. Okay, so as we close up the video on this I call supercar, let's run down the list real quick of all the things we've talked about. Original regimental red car, original 400 car, original four speed car, all right? Power disc brakes, power steering, power top, speed minder inside, tilt wheel, original stereo system in. It's got the correct rally wheels on it, red line radials on the car. There is a lot of money spent on a car that's already an expensive car to begin with. So if you really wanted some sort of collectible car, this could be an awesome, awesome car to either start a collection with or add to your collection. Anyway, call us. 301-816-1000 will tell you all about the 67 Firebird 400 Convertible.